hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math my name is varakumar today we are going to learn about the graph of a quadratic polynomial this is the fourth one in the third problem from 3.2 exercise very very important already we have completed first second and third using the graph we have to find the zeros of the given quadratic polynomial so see here draw the graphs of the given polynomials and find the zeros justify the answers so fourth one p of x is equal to x square plus 3x minus 4 so here the given polynomial is p of x is equal to x square plus 3x minus 4 to draw the graph we require some ordered pairs for that let a given quadratic polynomial as y is equal to x square plus 3x minus 4 uh, to find the ordered pairs we have to take x values as our own uh, for the corresponding x values so by substituting in the equation y is equal to x square plus 3x minus 4 we have to find the uh, y values so this is the table of ordered pairs uh, let y is equal to x square plus 3x minus 4 so here uh, we have to take these x values minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 0 1 2 3 so so for for these x, x values we have to find the uh, y values so what is there in y y equal to x square plus 3x minus 4 in order to find y values you have to find x square and 3x x square plus 3x x square plus 3x minus 4 it is y by writing x and y in a bracket we can get the ordered pairs so these are the x values next we have to find x square by squaring all the x values we can get x square values so it is minus 4 whole square is 16 a minus 3 whole square is 9 minus 2 whole square is 4 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 so all these are x square values so next we have 3x by multiplying the x values by 3 we can get 3x values so 3 into minus 4 is minus 12 so 3 into minus 3 is minus 9 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 3 into 0 is 0 3 into 1 is 3 3 into 2 is 6 3 into 3 is 9 so you have to concentrate on the x values only by while multiplying with 3 so don't multiply with x square values so here 3 into x is there how to multiply only x values so next x square plus 3x this is x square values these are a 3x values just we have to add these two so 16 minus 12 it is uh, 4 9 minus 9 it is 0 4 minus 6 is uh, minus 2 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 3 is 4 4 plus 6 is 10 9 plus 9 is 18 so these are x square plus 3x values so next x square plus 3x minus 4 so these are x square plus 3x values you have to subtract 4 from all the values so here 4 minus 4 is 0 0 minus 4 is minus 4 minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 0 minus 4 is minus 4 4 minus 4 is 0 again here 10 minus 4 is 6 18 minus 4 is 14 so 18 minus 4 is 14 now uh, these are the x values and these are the y values by writing these two we can get the ordered pair so first one is minus 4 comma 0 so next second one minus 3 comma minus 4 minus 3 comma minus 4 next uh, it is minus 2 comma minus 6 minus 2 comma minus 6 uh, 0 comma minus 4 0 comma minus 4 0 comma minus 4 so next 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 so next 2 comma 6 2 comma 6 so next 3 comma 14 3 comma 14 so these are the ordered pairs uh, 
of the given quadratic polynomial x square plus 3x minus 4. So now we have to plot all these ordered pairs on the uh, graph sheet we can get a curve. So we have to observe where the curve is intersecting the x axis. Uh, so from the points of intersection we can get the zeros. So, so now we have to plot all these uh, uh, ordered pairs on the graph sheet. So finding ordered pairs is very very important. Uh, if you find ordered pairs easily you can draw the graph very easily. So now we have to plot these ordered pairs on the graph sheet. So now we have to plot the ordered pairs on the graph sheet. Before that we have to select the scale. So on the x axis uh, we have to take 1 centimeter is equal to 1 unit but on the y axis 1 centimeter equal to 2 units is enough. So now uh, first point is minus 4 comma 0 x value is minus 4 y value is 0 so it lies on the x axis yes it is minus 4 comma 0. So next minus 3 comma minus 4 x is minus 3 y is minus 4 this is minus 3 comma minus 4. So next to minus 2 comma minus 6 x value is minus 2 y value is minus 6 it is minus 2 comma minus 6. So next uh, 0 comma minus 4 x is 0 y is minus 4 it lies on the y axis at minus 4. So next 1 comma 0 x value is 1 y is 0 it lies on the x axis at 1. So next 2 comma 6 x value is 2 and y value is 6. So these points are enough uh, to draw the graph. So by passing through all the points we have to draw a smooth curve with the help of a sharp pencil. So see here uh, how can we draw. Uh, now uh, here there are labels A, B, C, D, F. We can remove these labels. Uh, we don't require the labels. Now I am removing all the labels. Uh, uh, see here. Uh, now uh, removing all the labels. Yes, I have removed all the labels. Now by passing through all the pens, we have to draw a curve with the uh, help of a sharp pencil. Yes, like this we have to draw the curve. So it should pass through all the points. Uh, yes, this is a, a parabola. So now, uh, where the parabola has intersected the x axis we have to observe. Now from the points of intersection of the parabola and the x axis we can find the uh, zeros of the given polynomial. So see here uh, now I am writing the values where the parabola has intersected the x axis. So the first point is uh, 1 comma 0 and here also uh, the second uh, point of intersection is uh, minus 4 comma 0. Two visible very clear. I am changing the color. Yes, it is minus 4 comma 0. So next it is 1 comma 0. So now from the points of intersection we can find the zeros of the given polynomial. So here see here uh, the graph uh, the we can say from the graph the parabola is intersecting the x axis at the points uh, minus 4 comma 0 and 1 comma 0 therefore zeros of p of x is equal to minus 4 comma 1 so these two are the zeros of the given quadratic polynomial so this is the fourth bit in the third problem there is one more bit a fifth bit totally there are five bits in the next class we will do the a fifth better that's all today's class uh, uh, thanks for watching we will meet in the next class yeah.